Hey guys, what's up, it's Iphone here. Now, forgive me, I am a little bit sick, so I might sound a little off, or I might have to take a little break in between talk talking in this video. But I'm super excited to be making this video because I'm announcing a few big changes with the channel and things that I'm going to be trying to do, sort of like push it forward, like going into this summer, like this big next leap forward, really. Um, you guys know what my most successful series in the channel is my beginners, guys. And um, I'm happy to announce that this year I'm going to be trying to make the ultimate beginner's guide. Now, I mean, the absolute easiest to understand, most 100% accurate information ever on YouTube for a beginner player. They can watch it, they get locations, they get mods. Every single thing that any player would need to know coming in the Warframe will hopefully be in this beginner guide series. And I will be working with so many people getting as much information as I can to make these videos and make them like basically as best as I can. I'm going to try to edit them a lot. It is going to take a very long time for me to get all the information together, get the editing all done, but I really want to make a really, you know, sort of down to earth ultimate beginner's guide that everyone will be able to watch and go to. And the reason that I'm making this decision today is because I feel like Warframe's kind of at a point where it isn't really going anywhere, you know? There's not going to be any big changes that are really going to affect this guide series. So it's about time I sort of just put, like, I double down and put all my effort into the series and make it as good as I possibly can. I should be doing that there with all of my content. But now that, you know, we've kind of surpassed that 50k subscriber mark, I'm taking YouTube a lot more serious and trying to be all like, well, I need to post, like, a really awesome video every single time that I post a video. So I might as well buckle down and for just really good content now. Along with that there, I will be reworking my how to get guide. So let's say, for example, you need to get a Warframe, how to get Excalibur or something. I will be reworking those there because a lot of bosses were reworked. Um, hopefully there won't be that many boss reworks in the future going into this year. Um, but, you know, if there is, I can just remake it. I can take the other video down and remake it and then that'll be fine. So I'm really trying to buckle down and produce the best guide content uh, on YouTube for Warframe this year. That's basically my goal because a lot of people do see me as a guide channel for Warframe. I know a lot of people like my fashion stuff. I know a lot of people like my uh, my live streams and stuff, but my guide stuff has been sort of my bread and butter for a very long time because I'm really good at explaining things, it turns out. I didn't even know it either, but apparently I'm really good at explaining things and it's basically, basically just what I have to do. So what I've been doing for the past few days, past week basically, is I've been going down and I've been making a big list of all these different videos that I can create. Um, and I'm happy to announce that if I bring up my little list here, if I'm able to uh, pop it up quickly without me having to like edit this video, um, the Beginner's Guide series will be over 20 episodes. So it's going to be going with every single different video is going to have a different topic. So let's say, for example, the first video is the beginner choices and four surprise quest and all that good stuff. You know, just I don't, I don't want to give too much away because I don't want anyone to copy this series and all the sort of compact information that I'm trying to get into one video. But um, yeah, hopefully it's awesome. I don't know how long the videos are going to be, but it's going to be as simple as possible, explained as quickly as possible, and just to the best of my ability with a lot of editing, trying to appeal to every different type of learner, visual, audio, kinetic, all that there good stuff, kinetic, well, kinesthetic, is that the word I'm looking for? There you go. I mean, you can't really do that there unless you go play the game yourself, so I don't know. Um, but you know what I mean. You know, I have a lot of ideas, so I have my how to get uh, videos, all that there good stuff. I have all these vi build videos to make, which I've actually already started on with my Excalibur Exalted Blade build. I'm evolving the Steel build. I'll be getting all that there done. They will be compacted into, um, you know, a, a playlist, which you can go ahead and watch. Um, so you can just have it on repeat. I have some top 10 videos coming, and I have a few extra videos as well, which should be going down on the list. And if you guys have any more recommendations for what I should be posting on the channel, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below, because I will take in any and all recommendations in the comment section. So... That is about it with um, the video side of things. Now let's move on to the sort of thumbnail branding type thing. I've actually decided to take out the little like, you know, the, you know, the little Eiflin sort of logo that I have in my thumbnails. I'm actually deciding going forward, I'm going to take that there out of all my thumbnails because I think that it sort of hinders how my thumbnails look. It makes me uh, put in smaller text and it takes up a lot of screen real estate. So I want to be taking that there out now and making more sort of bright, vibrant thumbnails, hopefully. So if you have any feedback on my thumbnails or anything, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if my Twitch streams were still not a Twitch partner, but I am going for it, I'm going to be applying for it. 
maybe next month or maybe sooner, depending on how things go. Um, my Twitch live streams will be mainly in the morning time after the 5th of June, because the 5th of June is my last day in college, so that will be me off for the summer, hopefully. And then from that point onwards, it'll be morning streams every single day. And then obviously I'm, I'm appealing to my EU audience. And then we might change it up a little bit. Depending how the video making goes, we might be able to fit two streams in a day. So that way I can appeal to EU and NA. So, you know, I can get sort of everyone in and I can, you know, basically please the biggest amount of people. It's a lot of work. And I know a lot of people like to bash on me for saying that I'm going to do all these different things and then I might not end up doing it, but I'm super serious. And I'm, my beginner's guides has always been something that I've delivered on, you know, and I'm really serious this year about my YouTube, about my Twitch and all that good stuff, because it's been awesome. The community that I have built around it and all that good stuff, it's it's sweet. It's amazing uh, to have this feeling and it's amazing that I'm able to just make a video and have a couple thousand people watch this video and hear my voice about you know talking about basically anything right it's super cool so it's been an awesome journey and I thank you all for giving me the opportunity to sort of be in this position I guess and that's why I feel like it's in my best interest to like basically give back to you guys giving you guys the content that you want because the beginner guide is the most requested stuff same with the twitch streams and the how-to stuff it is the most requested stuff, and that's what I need to be producing to please the biggest amount of people. That's at least how I see it. I know a lot of veteran people on my channel might want something different, but that's why the top 10 videos are there, and some of the discussion videos will be there as well. Sort of, you know, give them more content to watch. Same with the completionist guide. I don't know if the completionist guide is going to continue or how far I will take that guide, because, like, I need to sort of sit down and edit that guide a lot more for it to be sort of a viable, sort of enjoyable viewing experience I guess like making it's fun for me but then the editing and viewing side of it I'm, I'm watching it back and I'm like I don't really enjoy watching this Warframe just isn't one of those you know very enjoyable games to watch if you get what I mean so I'll be doing a lot more editing in the completionist guide seeing how that there goes and then we'll continue it that way um and if it doesn't go too well then we'll stop doing the completionist guide that's fine by me but it just all depends how I feel with the guide and how you guys feel about the guide as well because you know it's a hard one to sort of make because it's meant to show the realism of Warframe, but then if I'm editing it, I don't really get to show the realism. So, you know, the message and then what people like watching are two completely different things there. And, you know, I kind of just have to sort of decide or make up my mind on what I want to do with that there. So that is basically it. Now I'm trying to think if there is anything else that I want to be talking about in this video. Um, other than my glyph codes, there you go. So I know I have said that I've been posting glyph codes on my social medias and stuff for the past week. I've sort of been slacking on that there, and I do hope to get back on that there. So if you guys aren't following me on any of my social media, go ahead and choose like one of the how many social medias I have: Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. Four social medias. If you go follow me in those platforms, I try to post a glyph code on there every single day on each of those platforms. Uh, like I said in the past week, I've been slacking. But if you do, I'm going to try to pick it back up again, you know, in the coming weeks and then get those glyph codes out to people. Um, people just say, why don't I just give out glyph codes? Because I want to give out glyph codes to people who actually follow my content, watch my content, instead of just giving it to, you know, the person who wants to, you know, basically have all the glyphs and then tweet at Rebecca or something saying, hey, I got all the glyphs and I never use the glyph again. You know, that's not the type of person I want to be giving my glyph. I want to give the people who support me, support my content and like my content. Those are the type of people that I want to be giving the glyph and, uh, you know, basically just by giving it away randomly on my social media and stuff, that's how they're going to get it because then, you know, they're, they're obviously going to be following me regardless of um, whatever, so they'll eventually get it. So don't worry too much. I also give it away to people who are in the live stream and watch the videos and if you're a Game Wisp subscriber or if you buy a t-shirt, the merchandise, which again will be linked in the description below, it's going to be down there, so you can go ahead and check that there right? and then if you... Um, do any of that there just you know message me in discord and I'll try to verify it somehow or you can send me something to show yes I done this thing please give glyph and then that's that there as well if as if you're in the clam you can donate 1000 mutagen sample to the HEMA research and you can get it that way that's also another thing as well so yeah that's kind of a lot to tech in for a very short video and it's a lot to talk about but you know uh, like I said guys I really appreciate the position that I'm in I appreciate you guys watching my content and then 
I've been having an awesome time on Twitch lately, so Twitch is another platform which I really hope to grow on as well. Um, so yeah, it's been awesome. Thank you guys for watching the videos. Thank you guys for liking the videos, sharing the videos, subscribing to the channel, watching me on Twitch if you're watching me on Twitch, following my Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, it's been awesome. Only good things can go on from here. So um, the uploads might slow down a bit because like I said, I'm trying to put as much effort as possible into all these videos to make good videos rather over uh, or rather than making sort of a lot of videos. It's more high quality videos over quantity. So quality over quantity right now. Uh, that's how the channel is going to go. But I will try to obviously post a video every single day for sake of consistency. But um, if it doesn't happen every single day, don't get disheartened. I'm not dead. I'm still here. You guys can talk to me in Discord, Snapchat, or wherever. You follow me anytime at all, and I will most likely reply as long as I see the message before I fall off to sleep that day. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button below, and you want to see more Warframe content from me, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.